They say you can't judge a book by its cover and you can't judge a college by its SAT scores, it appears. The record reports that a number of New Jersey colleges and universities are inflating those test scores in an apparent attempt to make themselves look better. From Rowan to Ramapo to William Patterson and New Jersey City University. And joining us now, the senior education writer for the record, Leslie Brody. Uh, good of you to come on in. Is, is this problem pervasive or, or is it restricted to a, a, a smaller number of schools, do you think? Well, it's hard to know. These are the ones that we checked. So, yeah. you know, many out there we obviously didn't check, but it didn't take too long to find these um, it's obvious. discrepancies. And what they're doing is what, leaving out part of the class? Well, there are lots of different ways to report SAT scores, and uh, one main way is to do uh, something called regular admits, which uh, excludes students who come from disadvantaged backgrounds um, and apply through something called the uh, equal Opportunity Fund, mm -hmm. and also it's possible to exclude those who get in on, say, um, an arts um, interest, and they may have not great academics, but they excel in the arts, and you want that student. So, so you, you redefine what, what the category right. is of what you consider to be your incoming freshman class, essentially. I mean, some of the numbers here are, are, are fascinating. Ramapo supposedly inflated by 52 points, New Jersey City U, 41 points. Rowan was 100 points, but that could have been, uh, they, they ascribed it to clerical errors a while back as well. Uh, William Patterson supposedly by 45 points. What, what does that really mean? First of all, some of these are on their own websites, and some are to, to the U.S. News and World right. Report survey. But also, if you look at U.S. News and World Report, they have an asterisk in their uh, printed edition that shows this is a school that gave us only regular admits. On the online edition, for various technical reasons on their end, they say they don't have that asterisk. So even if you compare scores from U.S. News and World Online versus the print edition, they look different. The mm -hmm. real issue here with uh, Rambapo is that the um, they reported only regular admits, and there was no asterisk saying so online. So if you just looked online, it looked higher than it was. And this is a school that has risen to become one of the top rated regional universities in the northeastern part of the United States. Had they not done this, would their, would their ranking be substantially lower? Would their reputation be hurt? Well, U.S. News says that it, it tries to um, factor in for the universities that only give them regular admits, and they, they knock them down a few pegs for that. You know, it's hard to know. And there are so many different categories in this uh, ranking. There's also one about um, how many of your freshmen are in the top 25 percent of their high school class. That can monkey with the numbers as well, because now many schools don't rank their uh, students. So if you, you're comparing a lot of apples to coconuts to blackberries, if, mm -hmm. if different schools have different accounting systems and, and U.S. News is, is coming up with its own methodologies. There, there's a lot it's, of uh, um, footnotes and there are about nine different footnotes in, uh, for different kinds of categories of reporting in the rankings and I don't know how many people really bother to read the fine print. But they apparently feel compelled to do this for some reason. Is there a sense that the best students would, would simply, you know, and their parents would, would go in a different direction? Or, or are they, are they think, smart enough? You know, it's to, the whole college uh, world. It's very competitive. You know, the, the students compete really hard to get in, and then the universities compete really hard to get the best students. So they try to make themselves look as good as possible. And there have been complaints within the academic community about this to begin with, right? Mm -hmm. Well, and, and to, to the extent that some universities say we're not even going to accept SAT scores anymore, we're not going to look at them, or, or SATs are optional. I mean, there's another way that these scores get kind of monkeyed with is that how do you compare schools where SATs are optional to schools where they're, where they're not? Maybe actually bring the students in, do an interview with them, and see what they're all about. Mm -hmm. uh, Leslie Brody, thanks for coming thanks in. Thanks very Appreciate much. It. Take care.